Hello, my name is Marcellus Thomas, and this is a reflo the reflection of my interview with Noah Kano, who works at Weldham Cemetery Co., a Jewish traditional, um, a Jewish traditional uh, cemetery. Uh, they've been around since 1873. Um, responsible for they were um, <clears throat> they were founded by immigrants and the people who later moved to the Welling area around Forest Park. Um, they offer at their um, on their website or at person uh, a manner to locate the grave of a family member. If you are coming in from out of state or you have forgotten the information, they have a cemetery records available to you that you can access. Um, they have grave care options. Two of them that they, the two things that they offer are the annual care maintenance and endowed care, um, endowed care maintenance. The endowed care maintenance allows the maintenance on the family member that which you have lost on their grave to be maintained throughout the years that you could uh, set up to a trust. The annual care maintenance is one where you would pay basically like rents, say maybe between $800 and $1,200 annually, just one time payment a year. And that will go to the upkeep of, uh, of your loved one's grave marker. I have also learned that throughout the, um, that more recently, unfortunately, um, that there is apparently a dilemma they're dealing with with those who sell third-party plaques and burial spots uh, areas. Um, there are people who sometimes arrive and will unfortunately um, buy space that they don't need just to sell them years down the line um, as it's a growing issue is time and space run out gradually over time. Additionally, I learned from Noah that the they have a memorial showroom there. They have their own artisans, I, I suppose, under retainer, which was um, interesting for me to learn. Um, and they also have those where you could just order from a website or go into their showroom and get something from there. But I I believe it's just a, a basic a basic showroom you would expect that you would see similarly at a funeral home, but in just this time, just headstones that are ready to be uh, embroiled with your uh, family member's name. Um, I also learned that they um, have maps that they offer and they have two toll-free numbers. Um, yeah. They also offer dedications for families. Uh, you can either call in or you can um, do it online or go in person. And you can set a date for you and your family members to then come, lay flowers upon the grave, spend time at the, at the site, and ensuring you just have the space that you and your family needs so that you can do what you need to do. I also learned that, unfortunately, given the location, um, they do have an issue with water, apparently, and it does cause some damages to some of the graves, um, especially those that have been here for a, a while. Um, additionally to that, unfortunately, those that don't fall underneath a care plan are apparently not the best well-kept. and it shows at times uh, but I do believe the owners of Corn to Noah are trying to find a way to create some fun so we can have so they can restore um, some of the damage in those areas um, <clears throat> I believe that is due to the water issues but um, as far as um, the interview went, the cemetery has been a part of the neighborhood for quite some time, has given quite a bit back to it socially, and apparently during the nineteen, the early 1900s, um, people used to traverse using the blue line to come to that area and 
plan out their funerals for the Jewish people in this area, as well as those others others in Chicago itself. Welling, um, it's it's a uh, it's in the Forest Park, so sort of it's suburban, but it's within reach for most coming out of the city. Um, and I believe those to be the most relevant things I learned from Noah during this entire exchange, and I hope this is up to snuff. All right.